In Pasadena, Mr. and Mrs. Albert Einstein bid friends farewell. Remember how Oppenheimer had everyone on a chokehold back in July 2023? Well, as you know, Oppenheimer's cinematic tour de force delved into the intricate emotional landscape of a scientist grappling with the moral implications of his pivotal role in the development and use of the atomic bomb, leading to its devastating impact on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Similarly, Netflix has dropped a much leaner yet thematically resonant documentary drama Einstein and the Bomb, which documents the profound influence the father of atomic energy had on the groundbreaking discoveries of the Manhattan Project, and how he regretted that to the very end. We have read the Einstein's discoveries since school, so I'm guessing there is no shortage of content that would explain the theory of relativity to you or explain Einstein's other discoveries. But there was one thing in this docudrama that caught my eye. And and that was the very brief mention of Einstein's first wife. While the world revels in his scientific discoveries, most of us barely know anything about his personal life. So how about we talk about something a bit different today and explore Albert Einstein's complicated love life. Without wasting another second, let's get right to it. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Einstein's failed first marriage. So Einstein's first wife, Mileva Maric, was born in Titel, Serbia in 1875. Given the condition of women in those times, Mileva was privileged enough to finish her high school in Serbia. In 1892, her father secured permission from the Minister of Education for Mileva to attend physics lectures typically reserved for boys, which was a rare opportunity for a young woman at the time. By 1892, in 1994, Mileva completed her high school education in Zurich, Switzerland, after which her family relocated to Novi Sad. She was brilliant yet reserved and had a penchant for getting to the core of subjects. Mileva had a clear focus on her objectives throughout her academic pursuits. She first met Einstein as a student in Zurich Polytechnic and bonded over their shared passion for physics. What started as a friendship soon blossomed into romance making the two inseparable. Although there were a lot of ups and downs to their relationship, Albert's parents believed Mileva was ironically too intellectual for him and hated the fact that she belonged to a foreign culture. Albert could not marry Mileva until his father gave him the permission for it, insisting him to get a job before settling down. Now their journey together hit a bump when Marich was faced with academic challenges ultimately leading to her expulsion from school after becoming pregnant in 1901. Given that she was unmarried and could not pursue Einstein to take responsibility, the child was born in secrecy and probably given up for adoption. Despite this setback, Mileva remained an integral part of Einstein's scientific pursuits. Indeed, they collaborated on various theories, with some even suggesting Mileva's hand in assisting Einstein with calculations readings and editing. Even some of Einstein's early lecture notes bear resemblance to her handwriting. Their partnership wasn't just romantic but intellectual too because Einstein had found a partner who intellectually stimulated him and kept him from meandering. Mileva played a significant role in shaping Einstein's early work and although she never got the deserved recognition, their shared journey through academia and science underscored their deep connection. As Einstein's father was dying, he finally granted his son the permission to marry Mileva. The couple got married on 6th January 1903, while Albert was working for a patent office in Bern. Following this, Mileva took on the household responsibilities while Einstein and she worked together, often into the late hours of the night. At a party, Einstein once quipped about how he needed his wife to solve all his mathematical problems for him. Soon over the years, as Einstein's work flourished, 
they welcomed two sons into their family during their roughly decade-long partnership. It was during this period that Einstein's career soared, with their teamwork contributing to his success. Even as late as 1911, Albert continued to send affectionate postcards to Maleva. However, in 1912, their relationship took a tumultuous turn when Albert began a scandalous affair with his cousin, Elsa Lowenthal, while visiting his his family in Berlin. Their secret romance went on for two years straight, with Elsa preserving 21 of Albert's letters, which now remains archived in the collected papers of Albert Einstein. Throughout this time, Albert held various academic positions, first in Prague, then back in Zurich, before settling back in Berlin in 1914 to be closer to Elsa. In these letters, Albert expressed his misery in his marriage to Mileva, describing her as a jealous and depressed woman, which ultimately led to the end of their union. Einstein then asked Mileva for a divorce, and when she resisted, he presented her with a list of strict conditions she must adhere to if she wished to remain living with him. This list made it evident that Einstein expected marriage to take on the role of a maid with no expectation of attention or affection in return. He also demanded that marriage renounce any personal interactions with him to expect no form of intimacy and to only engage with him when asked. A few months after Einstein had revealed this harsh misogynistic ultimatum, marriage made the decision to leave and relocated to Zurich with her children on July 29, 1914. After living separately for a span of five years, in 1919, Mileva consented to divorce only under the condition that if Albert were ever awarded the Nobel Prize, she would receive the financial benefit due to her unrecognized contributions to his work. After a lot of kerfuffle, she finally managed to win the argument in her favor. After the divorce was through, both of them went their separate ways. When he did receive the prize and gave her the money, she invested the funds into two modest apartment buildings and subsisted on their meager income. Unfortunately, her son, Edward, frequently went to a sanatorium due to health issues, eventually succumbing to schizophrenia and requiring institutionalization. The resulting medical expenses left Mileva in a perpetual state of financial strain, leading to the eventual loss of both her properties. At the end, she had to make a living by offering private lessons and relied on the irregular alimony payments sent by Albert Einstein to make ends meet. Einstein's scandalous second marriage to his cousin, Elsa Einstein, Albert Einstein's cousin turned second wife, was born on January the 18th, 1876 shared a unique familial tie with Albert Einstein. Her father, Rudolf Einstein, was the cousin of Albert's father, and because their mothers were sisters, Elsa and Albert were actually first cousins. Although Elsa and Albert had known each other since childhood, their romantic relationship blossomed much later in life. Elsa got married for the first time to Max Lowenthal in 1896. Even if her marriage lasted many years and she had children with her first husband, Elsa was never content in her marriage. It wasn't until 1912 that Albert and Elsa Einstein began to develop a closer bond. Initially spending ample time together as cousins, their relationship later deepened into a romantic bond. Despite Elsa's divorce in 1908, Albert remained married to Mileva Marich, and during this time, his relationship with Elsa evolved from familial to romantic. In 1914, Albert relocated his family from Zurich to Berlin to live closer to Elsa. In 1919, shortly after Albert's divorce was finalized with Meleva, he and Elsa got married. However, their marriage faced complexities from the outset, given that it was revealed in a letter penned by Albert mentioning his reluctance to hastily get married to Elsa. Nevertheless, Elsa is often regarded as her husband's trusted confidant, as she adeptly navigated life alongside the brilliant physicist. When Einstein fell ill in 1917, she dutifully cared for him, accompanying him on his global journeys as his fame soared, and remaining his steadfast protector until her passing in 1936. 
Albert even entertained the idea of marrying Elsa's 20-year-old daughter, Ilse. Fortunately, Ilse, who had previously worked as Albert's secretary and viewed him as a father figure, had no interest in becoming his wife, so Einstein settled for her mother. Shortly after Albert and Elsa got married, he got into a passionate affair with his secretary, Betty Newman. During this affair, he occasionally fantasized about living with Elsa and Betty together in a large family house. He also pursued relationships with several other young women, including Ethel Mikanowski, who was actually a pretty famous socialite and a friend of Elsa's. He even wrote to Elsa in his letters asserting that monogamy was a bitter pill for everyone involved, which was a sentiment Elsa apparently accepted. Despite his extramarital dalliances, Einstein never considered them significant or serious, as long as they didn't interfere with his feelings for his spouse. He was surprisingly open and candid about this with Elsa, including the details of his affairs. As anti-Semitism surged in Germany under Hitler's Nazi regime and Albert became the target of various right-wing groups, Elsa made the decision to relocate from Germany to the United States with her husband in 1933. They settled in Princeton, New Jersey, where Albert was appointed as a professor of theoretical physics at the Princeton Institute for Advanced Study. However, shortly after their arrival, Elsa left Albert's side to care for Ilse in Paris, who tragically succumbed to tuberculosis that year. Upon her return to the United States in 1935, Elsa Einstein's health began to decline rapidly, with heart and liver problems emerging. As her condition further deteriorated, Albert immersed himself further in his work in order to cope with the distressing circumstances. Despite Albert Einstein trying to drown himself in work, he didn't outright neglect Elsa. As her illness progressed, Elsa confided in a friend that Albert appeared deeply affected by her condition, expressing surprise at the depth of his love for her. Sadly, on December 20th, 1936, Elsa Einstein passed away in their Princeton home, and it was reported that Albert was genuinely devastated by her loss. His friend Peter Bucky noted that it was the first time he had witnessed Albert shedding tears. Even Albert himself wrote in 1938 that he was so depressed from her absence that he couldn't envision to live if he did not have his work. During Elsa's lifetime, she functioned as a gatekeeper and organizer for him. While their marriage wasn't perfect, because Albert struggled with emotional intimacy, his love for Elsa was profound, even if he was involved with others. The other women in Albert Einstein's life. Despite being married twice, Einstein maintained more than friendly relationships with approximately 10 other women throughout his lifetime. He very openly discussed his romantic escapades, and this theme echoed through his letters to both his second wife and stepdaughter. From the 1920s until his relocation to the US in 1933, Einstein shared connections with several women. Most notable among them were Margaret, Stella, Tony, and Ethel. With these companions, Einstein indulged in many vacations, attended concerts, and even conducted reading sessions. In fact, there was a rumor going around that when Einstein was old, he had an illegitimate daughter with one of his escapades, but to avoid scandals, his son adopted the child as his own daughter in order to save their reputation from being torn to shreds. Prior to his death, Einstein entrusted his personal papers to the Hebrew University in Jerusalem. Following this, his stepdaughter Margot bequeathed an additional 1,300 letters of Einstein's, stipulating that they remain private until 20 years after her death. Margot passed away on July 8, 1986. In a recent publication of letters unveiled by the Hebrew University in Jerusalem, Einstein disclosed further details about his relationships with other women, noting that they often showered him with gifts. True to form, Einstein also acknowledged that it was the women who pursued him, sometimes to an extent that he found it overwhelming. In a letter to Margot, Einstein had described a situation where one woman, described to as M, had become excessively persistent in her pursuit of him and was getting out of control. This letter was actually in reference 
to Elsa's glamorous socialite friend Ethel Mikanowski, who had travelled from Berlin to England in pursuit of Einstein. Regrettably, when Ethel found out about Einstein's habit of infidelity by witnessing him with other women during her visit to England, Ethel dumped his ass. In most of his letters, Einstein wrote about his liberal views on monogamy, suggesting that infidelity was a common trait among human beings, even if society refuses to accept it. This perspective was mirrored in his own life, particularly evident in his first marriage to Meleva, where he was unfaithful before ultimately marrying his mistress, who just happened to be his cousin. Despite his shortcomings as a husband, Einstein candidly acknowledged his personal failures and inadequacies. While he engaged in numerous romantic entanglements with many women, Einstein's behavior seemed to align with his famous assertion that gravitation is not indeed responsible for people falling in love. But he still mentioned in one of his letters how he admired men who could remain devoted to only one woman in life because that was a challenge he had miserably failed in, not once, but twice. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.